hard on the measuring tape. Now short to Aish. He's got one-on-ones ahead of him. Matt Tabernar with Asprey minding him, but uh, Banfield trying to get in a block in. Tabernar playing game number 100, and here he is presenting. Just got the separation. His ninth season finally bringing up the 100-game milestone. Had 100 of a possible 186 matches. Struggled with injury at times. But he does well there to sneak it in. And Matt Tabner in his 100th game gets off to a great start. So take two. This time Short's kick was a shank. Aish traps it nicely. Gets the handball going. Here's Chera this time. Went with a short pass. Probably should have with the last one in fact. But they'll get a, a go at it here. Comes off Banfield. Collier open goal. And he puts it through. Two to the Duckers. Banfield handballs over the top. Young. Up the line, and it stays in play. Got a good bounce. Walker's taken to the ground. He thought he was out of bounds. That's a great tackle. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> and no opportunity. chance. Yep. Continue on what uh, Pav was saying to MCG, the ball squirrel. So sometimes you can be kicking with the wind at both ends, if yep. you like. And, but or if you're kicking into it at both ends. Yeah. But down the middle, it favours one end, and it's certainly going to the left of the screen at the moment. Up goes Child. Oh. This will bounce through. It's a goal. It's a goal. Tigers on the board. At the ground level, it's Banfield having to take on two Tigers, and he does it well. Oh, great now ball. that's... He, didn't kick, he didn't kick it or he didn't handball it, but I think he has hit the deck here badly, Banfield, and I think he's slammed himself headfirst into the ground. So let's have a look here. So he gets pushed through and just falls to the ground. Yeah. He hit his, his head was into the ground first and accidentally Asprey's arm on the top of him as well. So, so Bailey Banfield leaves the field and uh, thoughts and wishes with him and his family. Not to your opposition, no. Not to the, uh, when they've got the best intercept markers in this game so far. Chol has been fantastic across the back line. Baker trying to make things happen. Preston, here he goes again. Beautiful handball from Darcy. Now a chance for the Fremantle Dockers. Can they get a goal this time? No. No, no, no. So low bursting through. And it's now 2-10. And you can feel the crowd now. Yeah. Plenty of stamps on the arms there, Jerry. Yep. What a week. Lynch does it well. Too long, too long gone. Blakely tried to take the extra step and he has coughed it up directly in front of goal. And the Tigers get one of those three back here, Jared. Calms himself down. Monday on the burst, try to work his way through, just got it out. Brayshaw's long kick in towards Tabner, got a hand to it, kept his feet off that left boot, and he's produced a miracle! No one could find anything in the first half, and then Tabner produces something special. He had a couple of shorter options, James Dash. Fair enough, top of the square. Oh, well done by Schultz again. He caught it before. Pat. Honky Schultz is doing the little things to knock it down. Collier to Young. Back inside, oh. 50. He almost got at the end of it. He did. He held on in the end. Schultz has got the footy. There's a bit going on between these two teams. But Frio will get another shot at goal. It's 50 here, I think. Oh, I reckon, yeah. 50. Trent Cotchin's just given Caleb the wrong one to the, the guns. 50 metres. Lockie Schultz been doing the little one percenters. And now gets rewarded with a goal. After the 50-metre penalty... And Frio have got a couple in a row to start the third two. So, what can the Tigers do now? They are now under threat. This is it. Their reign could come to an end today in Perth. But Lambert comes out and says, not just yet. So Lynch comes in from 45 metres out. And he starts the comeback for the Tigers. Uh, gee, talking about improving plays. Chol is so exciting. The kick comes out, but it's coming straight back. And Sydney Stack says, I'll get involved in this game of footy. Thumping kick from behind. The push was there, and Lynch took the mark. To get it back within a kick. Can you believe it? Lynch comes in. And misses from 15 metres out. 
not quite working in sync, the Dockers' forward yeah. line. And Curvis trying to get a mark back at ground level. He was able to get it over the top to Lynch from 50. Lowers the eyes and Parker on the lead. The former Saint back to the waffle. Drafted out of South from Adel. Mid-season. He wants to step up to take his opportunity. And he does just that. Parker breaks through. Nan Curvis and Darcy, what a battle that has been. This bloke, Brayshaw, has been sensational. He gets it out to Mundy. Oh, good, good shepherd from Chera. A skill that had almost gone out of the game. It's picked up by Blakely now. Oh, nice kick. And out he comes, the 100-game player, Matty Tabernard. His first goal was the first goal of the game. The first goal of the half was an absolute beauty from the boundary line on the run. Now Tabernard, to give his team a bit of leeway, he comes in, it's bending back, he's put it through! Oh, goal after the siren, and the free metal Dockers are up! Assessing his options, driving for distance, Lynch to go up, Tigers at the spill, here's Bolton, electric, across to Parker, he spins and kicks over his shoulder, Matthew Parker! Gets it all the way! And the Tigers draw first blood in the final term! That's a moment. So the Tigers have had a couple of extra scoring shots, but still trailed by three points. Asprey tries to get it going. Tigers have had all the play. This quarter, Graham gets it across to Presti, who's been good. Just turns it over. No, it goes their way. It comes out. Here's Lambert, who's a superstar. And he puts the Tigers in front! We see the switch on the live ladder. The Tigers, as it stands, back in the eight. And they've got a thirst for more as it ends up with Baker. Great kick towards Rewalt. An opportunity earlier on in this term. He wasn't able to take. The three-time Coleman medalist. No problems with that finish. He sends it through and the Tigers are making their move. Brayshaw's been good all afternoon. Sarong's kick to the 50. Tabernet to the front. Just trying to find a handle on it. He'll whip around on that left boot. Right into the hot spot. Schultz will fly! <laughs> Lockie Schultz taking to the air! It was dying and it's come back because the Sharon has been set free. The longer kick is coming into the forward line and the boys are taking the air again. He had a what a year life. of marks we've had. Been laser like with some of these disposal. Heap of players under this one. Tracy almost. Henry trying to rip it out of there. Short. Collier bursting through, Sarong off a step, 3-0 lead again! Darcy gets the tap, Brayshaw again. How symbolic that it was Brayshaw who clears and wins for the Fremantle Duggars.